pass the milk, please. Please pass the milk, please. Please pass the milk, please. Alrighty, today we are going to get to the fun stuff and we're going to do some sprite animation. And uh, before I begin, let me note that over in the description box, you are going to find a, uh, a link to a file, a zip file, with all the uh, stuff I'm working with, a couple of Photoshop files, and all of these raw images. You'll also see a link to the um, Mortal Kombat site that has all the sprites. So check out those links up here in the right corner, and then we should be able to go from there. Uh, anyway. I'm opening headfront.jpg. This is just a shot of Ron Paul off the web from the front. And the first thing we need to do is uh, extract his head because we don't want the image, we just want the head part. So the way to do this is to use filter, extract. I'm going to resize this so you can see what I'm doing. This is a very, very handy tool. And over here are your, your special tools. So first I'm going to zoom in so I can get a real good look at what I'm trying to do. The next thing I'll do is I'll select the marker here and you'll note that the size of the marker is controlled right here, brush size. So if you're using a really really small image you're gonna to want to use a like a 2 or a 3. Uh, this image is a little bit bigger so I'm gonna use a 5 but again uh, that's how you change that as necessary. And then you basically just draw along the edge of the, the face, whatever part it is that you want. Uh, by holding shift, I can do this, and that makes it a little bit easier to just kind of bounce along like so. When I get to the edge, I can use the hand tool to just drag it back down, and this is how it goes. And it's just incredibly time consuming, but you just follow along and eventually you cut out the whole head. So rather than bore you to death, I'm just going to skip ahead here, give you a rough idea. Obviously, you would not do a lazy outline like this. You'd actually take the time to cut it out properly. But once you have completed the outline, there we go, go to the paint tool and then fill in the outline. And you'll see this is the section of the head we've got now. Hit OK. And you've now extracted the head into its own layer, and there's nothing behind it. So now you've got the floating head, and that'll come in handy in the next step. I'm going to skip ahead here. Uh, this file here is roundhousekick.psd. You'll find that in the zip file. And what you'll see is I've extracted four heads, the profile, the front. This is actually just a reverse of that one. And then I took some dude's head off the web, uh, kind of like a behind the head shot. Uh, I'm not sure that that's definitely not Ron Paul, but you know, it looks close enough for what we need. The second thing you'll notice is here we've got a series of sprites of uh, Sub-Zero doing a roundhouse kick. These all came off of the MortalCombatWarehouse.com awesome site. This guy has already cataloged every single shot from the game. Um, every single move, the special moves, I mean he's, he's gone nuts. I don't think there's anything in this game that's not on this website. But uh, the other thing that's nice is that all these images are actually transparent PNGs. So you can download these right off the web, and they're already cut out for you. You don't have to do any extra work with that. What I'm going to do here is animate a roundhouse kick. So where did that kick go? Here it is. So here you see the roundhouse kick. It spins the foot around like so. Let's go back to Photoshop. And there they are. Now, what I've done is I've put each and every one of these on its own layer, like so. That'll make it easier in a minute. The other thing I've done is I've cut off all the heads. You'll see that they have no heads, and that was done uh, just using the selection tool and just deleting the piece I don't need. Um, you know, uh, at this point you're probably pretty used to that. But let me now get to the fun part, which is actually animating the sprite. So now that I've got all the, the pieces I need, everything on its own layer, I'm going to go to File, Edit in Image Ready, and this is a companion program to Photoshop. It's really handy for uh, animating these sprites. And of course, it's going to take 10 hours to open because my poor computer really wasn't meant to do this. But here we go. OK. And so what you'll see here, you've got a timeline. Let me make sure I get all this in shot so you can actually see 
what I'm doing. Over here we have all of our layers. Here we have a timeline. And to make a new uh, frame, we use this button here. Then you can delete the button. You can get rid of it if you need to. Uh, basically, at this point, we just have to line everything up. So I'm going to close all the stuff I don't need. Uh, actually, you all use, and there we go. Okay, so we'll take the first shot here. And I'm going to scale it up a little bit. So it's a little bit closer to the portion of the head. Now you may wonder, why am I scaling the body up as opposed to the head down? And the reason is to preserve as much quality as I can. If you scale the head down too small, it's going to become very pixelated. You're not going to be able to tell who it is anymore. Uh, these shots are already very pixelated, so by zooming them out, you don't really lose too much quality. And this particular frame, you'll see, the fist is actually in front of the head. Well, it was. We, we cut off the head. But the fist is actually right there in the way. So what we can do is take this head like so. That's still a little off. That's really not quite right. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty close. And then I'm going to take the layer of his head and drop it behind the body. And you see now we get a, an illusion that he's actually putting his own fist in front of his own face. That's a pretty cool touch, and it actually looks pretty cool once it's animated. Uh, this is still obviously not the right scale, but at this point I'm going to skip ahead until I've already animated all the frames so I can show you how it comes together. But it is, it, it's just this, just do it, you know, 50,000 more times. So you take this layer, you make sure the feet line up, you scale it up as necessary, You line everything up so it looks right. And then, remember, I'm still in the first frame here. I'm just using this to line everything up. Hide this body. Hide this head. And on this frame, we'll go over to this head. And here, we can probably lay it right on top. You know, it's, it's a judgment call. The chin is kind of overlapping. Because we've cut off the head, you can drop it behind the body, but then you should get rid of the neck, because that doesn't look quite right either. So I'm just going to use this for now. Again, not, not too worried about the quality. I'm just trying to show you how it was done. And what I'm going to do here is pause the video and fast forward, and then just go ahead and line up all of these frames and all of these heads so that it looks the way we need it to. So we'll be back in a few seconds. I'm going to turn off this stupid thing.